At the end of last episode, we anchored here on the east side of Joost van Dijk in the BVIs. We're just getting up and around for day four of the Odyssey Sailing Fest. First thing in the morning, Brady is being looked at by the team doctor while Andy, Laura Decker, and Blue are doing some route planning. We did trip planning and medical checkups. So just to give the background, Brady has been feeling sick. So they're just checking him out. So Steve is a doctor and he is being kept very busy from all the people having things going on, which turns out it was a lot. It is. <laughs> so even on vacation is what happens, right? As well, we come physicians, we help people there we go. no matter what. You have insurance, what? right? <laughs> this, is, this is included in the festival insurance. <laughs> All right, it's pretty obvious. So uh, just graduated from nursing school, so we'll see. What was the diagnosis? I can't say from him. He's training. Oh, training. We're gonna compare. We're gonna compare notes. Yeah. 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 Is, is back? Yeah. Let's see what he knows. Does that mean hit me? Yep. Yeah. So he'll put it in, in chat <laughs> and l l l listen for. Um, I don't know if he's up It's full. Okay. Yeah. Yep. He's got consolidation in the right lower lobe. Yeah. Uh, you, you got fluid in your lungs. Dr. Steve says Brady has fluid in his lungs from a chest cold. Luckily, Brady was already on the upswing and was pretty much back to normal within 24 hours. Next up on the agenda, the group decided to explore what we found on our map called the Bubbly Pool. It's about a 20 minute hike from the boats. So we just ran into this here. It's called a manchineal. Apparently it's like a poison oak situation, but it's, I guess, a lot worse and actually can do, it can be pretty serious. I actually didn't know how dangerous this plant was until I got home and looked it up online. I mean, look at some of these articles. The scary tropical tree that can kill you. Do not even inhale air around the tree. And then from Wikipedia, it says, don't stand under the tree when it's raining because even a small drop of rain mixed with the tree's sap will cause the skin to blister. The fruit is also potentially fatal if eaten. I don't know, but it sounds like a horror movie. So let's stay away from that plant and continue the hike. We've arrived. Nestled in the rocks is a pool of water where with each surging wave, the forceful water enters and creates bubbles. But it also knocks you off your feet, literally. There's a sticker on our catamaran on the window and it says something if you're if you're here and you're not having fun you know it's on you or something i mean that's true you cannot complain when you're surrounded by so much beauty back on the boat andy and shaka are looking at the heavy winds coming in the red color means it's pretty hairy out there Our plan, we're gonna head to Marina Key on the east side of Tortola. We're gonna tuck behind Tortola to try to avoid some of the strong winds coming from the northeast. Just on me 
Good seal only. We're doing about 7.3 knots. Whoa. And we have this uh, second reef in. Wind's already out here, man. All right. We're in kind of the calm before the storm right here because we're getting some protection from this island behind me. So this island, and then in about 100 yards, we're gonna have some massive wind, massive wind. You can see the big rain squall coming our way. Probably still 10 minutes away, maybe a little more. We got 8.6 8. knots. You. And how much wind? We, our wind is about 24, 24 knots. Yeah. Here comes that rain. <laughs> and just on cue, here comes the rain. We're doing 8.7 to 9 knots right now. Wind is getting gnarlier. And just as fast as it blew in, the rain passes and the sun is out. Just in time, too, as we arrive to Marina Key. drop anchor and the plan is to raft up with a couple of other boats for the night. Brady and Blue tie up on our starboard side with their boat called Bottoms Up. Port side, we're joined by Trip and Kiera and their boat Bali Cat. When you get this many sailors together, you should already know what's coming next. A big party with plenty of shenanigans like a trivia contest with prizes. And a bit later, we even had a belly flop contest off the front of the boat. Alright, can everyone hear me in the back? Dustin? Good, thank you. 
Okay, so yeah, this is our crew for the evening. I love it. There's a lot of prizes. People are going to get very lucky because there's less. There's about 133 of us here. So it's nice. We're going to have our judges. They have scorecards. So they're going to give everybody a score. Highest score wins. For the belly flop contest, I got the honor of playing both the safety lifeguard in the water as well as the in-water videographer. And that about does it for day four. Let me know in the comments about your fun and memorable travel stories. I think I have enough footage for one more video from this week of sailing in the BVIs, so join me next time for more. And be sure to visit my Patreon page where I'm planning to start ramping up with more content. See you next time. Later on in the night When the crowds have gone we could talk under moonlight till dawn. Mm -hmm. We could stay to watch the sunrise, cancel all our plans.